Let's get into this tea. We about to get into a couple things, all right? Um, for one, we're going to, you know, get into some worldly videos. A lot of y'all be wanting me to react to them, but y'all don't see them because uh, YouTube not sharing them to y'all like that. So uh, I'm going to be throwing things in to remix these videos. Just give me a second. But in the meantime, in between time, we're going to get to Cardi B first. Did I lose that? Ain't no way I lost that. That's crazy. Uh, uh, I love you forever, baby. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I was just listening to something. And I want to right, apologize anyway. to my fans, to my fans, to myself, and to people that love me for um, yeah, losing myself. You know what I'm saying? Losing myself and um, just losing myself and not being myself because yeah. of negative things that like put me in a wall like and i want to i want to apologize if you ever felt that like i wasn't giving my all yeah because of thing but you know i'm just i'm just a human I'm, I'm trying to do this shit you know what i'm saying i'm trying i'm trying like trust me yeah trust me yeah but i'm finding myself i love you forever, and uh man. all i want from you guys is support is love uh, honesty, of course. I don't ever want you not to be honest, but uh -huh. um, honesty, support, uh -huh. and um, always defend me, always love me, uh -huh. and um, yeah, because this has been a really hard journey to be back myself again. Uh huh. So, and I want to apologize, Cardi B. First of all, I think you should apologize for cussing all of us out. Cardi B cusses us out on a daily basis. Matter of fact, I got to do this again because, you know, I need an eight-minute video. So if y'all want to skip, go ahead. But Cardi B, let me talk to Cardi B right quick. Cardi B, I was just wondering if you could uh, apologize for cussing us out. and Because you cuss us out a lot, okay? And I'm talking about be going off. Don't get me wrong. I cuss my people out too. You know what I'm saying? It's a love thing. However, you knew... You was tripping. You knew you was tripping and going to gaslight us and making us feel like we tripping. No, 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 no. Cardi B, why you ain't dropped the album? Cardi like, I'm, you know, I'm focused on being a mother. I'm a mother. I'm focused on being a wife. I'm a wife. But you're also Cardi fucking B. really been feeling it after get up 10 bro i thought get up 10 was gonna be like the new dreams and nightmares i'm not gonna lie like i used to pray for times like <laughs> yo her get up 10 i mean even the way she started it the way the beat came in and i feel like that's what she was going for and i wish i could listen to it right now it was gonna be a copyright but Try to knock me, not we, since it's been so long, Cardi B. We gonna win. I mean, I'm not time, but I get up 10. You know what I'm saying? I look myself in the mirror, I said, we gonna win. Knock me down nine times, but I get up 10. That's what it is. Yo, like, come on, Cardi. I'm gonna listen to this one more time so we can hear you apologize. I want to again. apologize to my fans. To my fans, to myself, and to people that love me for um, cussing us out, losing myself. You know what I'm saying? Losing okay. myself and um, just losing myself and not being myself because of negative things that like put me in a wall. Like, and I want to, I want to apologize if you ever felt that like I wasn't giving my all <laughs> because felt. of thing. But you know, Cardi. You need to drop your own clothing line. I'm not going to hold you. Because that's what Rihanna did. And Rihanna unapologetically just didn't come back, by the way. Rihanna was like, girl, I don't give a damn what none of y'all talking about. Um, I'm dropping this clothing line. Rock with it or you don't. Either way, I'm out. Okay? <laughs> that's what Cardi B did. To, I mean, uh, Rihanna did to us. And I, I do feel like Cardi B needs to get into fashion. And I don't feel like she'll have to apologize then. Because, you know, it's all these... I've noticed yesterday, like, all these athletes, they are currently podcasters. And some of them went actor. You know, podcaster, 
actors, um, business owners, entrepreneurs. I don't think none of them really should apologize for doing them, period. I just think with Cardi B, she need to choose that vice, you know, or which way she going to go. And Rihanna said, let me tell you something. She didn't even tell us she was about to go into fashion. We just get a drop one day like, oh, Rihanna drops her new Fenty line. And we like, Fenty? What's that? <laughs> so she dropped the line, girl, everybody bought it. She became a billionaire. Like, I, <laughs> So I think Cardi B should really do what Cardi B wants to do. And I don't think she want to do music, for real. No, I'm, just, I'm just a human being. I'm, I'm trying to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. Like, trust me. Trust me. But I'm finding trust myself. Me. And uh, all I want from you guys is support, is love. Uh, honesty, of course. I don't Why ever you want give you it not back? to be honest. But um, honesty, <laughs> support, and um, always defend me, always love me. And um, yeah. Because this has been a really hard journey to be back myself again. You, you'll be back. So, and I want to. She'll be all right. Cardi, Cardi B will be okay. All right. And, and, and we, we, we're going to say that in the name of Jesus or whoever you pray to. All right. Next, we're going to get into Drake. Girl, Drake is messing with Lotto. Allegedly. 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 Messing with Lotto's little sister. Okay. Let me, um, yeah. All right, so this is Lotto's little sister walking in. First. Because, you know, ladies first. After the security. And then that's Drake. Hey, thank you. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Either walking in or leaving. Now, apparently... Um, her little sister is 21 years old. Drake is 37. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I was, what, 29, I had my last share of uh, dating the legal. <laughs> okay? And I say the legal because, you know, after 18, you legal. But truth be told, we don't belong with babies. So you get what I'm saying? And I'm saying that because now that I have a daughter, like my oldest, she's 16, bruh, I feel like all of them look like her. Like I, I feel like she, I, I, clearly she's 16, duh, but 16 is not that far away from 21. So I just, I don't know, when you have a daughter and you kind of like, mm, I don't look at it the same. I don't like that. It's not. Mm -mm. So I feel like Drake, Drake should find a 31 year old. No cap. Now, for some people, age ain't nothing but a number. OK, and she's legal. So do what you will with that. Um, definitely can't be under 30 this way. Thank God I got a girlfriend, but can't be under 30 this way. Uh, nah, she's 21, she grown, it is what it is. Absolutely, it is what it is. But some people gonna feel the way they feel, some people not. Ultimately, I just wish she leave the daycare in the daycare, okay? Um, and no disrespect to you 21-year-olds, y'all don't come at me, all right? When you like 30, one, two, three, four in the chat, when you 30-something, 30-plus, we just got, like, a lot more knowledge than y'all. So I understand why our parents be like, yo, stop playing with me, girl. I've been here all my life. I had to fight head ass, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that on that. Y'all let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Oh, Andrea. Drea being pregnant. Everybody keep telling me to talk about Drea being pregnant. Now, Drea... So I know y'all going to ask me, like, is it a double standard? And I, yeah, it absolutely is a double standard. Um, I don't think Cuz should be with her either. Um, I kind of don't want to show this because I don't have time for their yellow marks. Let me see. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, let's do something like that. 
Mm, I just want to see the words. Okay. So, hold on, let me make it big one more time. I got to edit this part out. Neek, edit this out. and put it right there. She says, happy International Women's Day as... Women, we navigate through so much, often leading us to question, what is my purpose? For me, the magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability um, to bring life into this world over the span of two decades. It's my superpower, and if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it's the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. So she's having a little girl, okay? We are overjoyed to share our love for you, little girl. I am, I'm, I'm, am, oh, whatever. I am excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought I'd have. We are anxious about your arrival, but take your time. This world can be tough, but know you are being brought into a space of love, security, and adornment. Well, she went to the daycare too, far as I'm concerned. There's definitely no double standard here with me. Um, and th on this topic anyway, but it is what it is. Y'all. I, I honestly, if it's legal, people do what they do. It, it kind of is what it is. Drake grown. If he want to date a 21 year old, he's going to date a 21 year old. Now Drake don't look 37. He looks 25. Okay. A grown 25, but 25. So what Drake doing? Does Drake want to do that? Let Drake do that. Drea want to do that? I feel like Drea should be with Drake. I feel like her little baby father should be with Lotto's little sister. I feel like the roles have been switched on their situation. I don't know why Drea hasn't run into Drake. You know, you never know. These celebrities be smashing each other and we don't even know what happened. We ain't even know that happened. Two celebrities just woke up just now drinking mimosas on a yacht that we had never thought we, we never would have thought they would have been together. <laughs> Andrea might have had a piece of Drake and don't want it no more. Okay. So it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.